Hi, welcome to episode 25 of my vlog, plotting how I'm going to try and achieve a double body weight squat uh, within 12 months of, of the gym's reopening since lockdown. Um, the last time I spoke to people, it was probably two, three weeks ago, which is a longer gap than I would normally leave between blog posts. Um, the reason for that, I'm really happy to say that I recently uh, had my second daughter. She arrived about uh, 10 days ago. And um, so that's been uh, why I've not been as, as, as active on uh, creating uh, these vlogs as I would normally be. Um, and that's a bit of going to be a theme of, of today's uh, post about um, what impact that's kind of had. Uh, so a bit of an update of where I was just before she was born. And then the impact of, of having a newborn baby on, on, on my training. So um, the first thing is the update you where I was just before she was born, which was... Um, things were starting to really kind of accelerate, move in the right direction. So I'd really struggled to get some, some gains on, on squatting strength prior to well, about four or six weeks ago. And then a um, sh subtle shift in how I was training, I added a bit more volume in. And the upshot of that was it was working. Um, so if I show you this, this represents the fastest set per workout um, that I've been doing. So just ignore that middle one with the arrow is there because that was... Um, on the load velocity test where that was just basically one repetition of 80 kilograms. So everything else is five reps of 100 kilos. That was the first set of the day, basically. And as you can see towards the end of that graph, we started to see a quite dramatic increase in average set of velocity. Again, so the faster you're moving, the, the, in theory, the stronger you are for a given load. So that's 100 kilograms. That's great they're moving that faster, but it didn't necessarily mean um, I was getting particularly stronger because that's dictated to by... Um, moving the heavier and heavier loads. So what I've got here is um, my set of 120 kilograms for five repetitions. Um, so you've got two sets in this particular graph, and I'll just make this a little bit bigger to show you. So the orange and blue lines are the last two uh, workouts before she was born. Uh, and they would really kind of increase a lot. So I was hitch it like 0 0.5, almost 0 0.5 meters per second for rep three of the last session before before we broke up. Um, and I was actually basically aligning myself to um, increase the load uh, for the next session because basically it was getting, I was moving the bar faster and faster. Um, I was now kind of finishing sets around about the 0 0.35 meters per second mark. Um, and I felt like it was like comfortable. The red line, however, is what happened um, this week. And um, it's so much different, so much more different than it was two weeks ago. As you can see here, um, I actually didn't, wasn't able to finish the set. Um, I wasn't able to achieve the same velocities and they dropped off dramatically. Um, I can even kind of show you that at 100 kilograms. So that might just be... Like my high end strength has gone, but it hasn't really affected my low, uh, like uh, lighter loads. But it has, you can see, it's not maybe tailed off quite as much. So this this last uh, green marker here was my um, last set, at last first set before she was born, and you can see here I've dropped off quite dramatically um, in the ten days since she was born. So basically, I've I've kind of gone back to the gym this week after I say ten days of um, frequent disrupt disrupted sleep um it's quite an emotional time so he's been really really happy and everything's going really really well and, and i couldn't have wished for anything to go any better than it has done uh, but it's still draining it's still very emotional um and lots of things happen you have lots of visitors and, and you have this kind of huge huge disruption and um, for those people who've got kids you'll know the kind of um the joyous disruption you get from from a newborn baby um, especially when you we start to push your years up a little bit, that, that disruption to sleep is really hard on not not functioning on a data basis, but trying to try to train off, off no sleep is really difficult. Um, so what I've really noticed this week is um, just a massive drop in strength just after 10 days. Uh, work capacity has just literally plummeted. It's like struggling to get through the exercises let alone kind of push the weights up and, and move them as fast as possible just to complete the session is a bit of a mental battle this week um so i'm hoping we can adapt to that um it's just a this is the first kind of two or three sessions back in so it may well be that it restores quite quickly um i really really hope so because 
that's the frustrating part of this. Uh, off the back of really kind of seeing some progress after months sort of not seeing a lot of progress. Um, not to be back at square one by any stretch of the imagination, but to 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 not have to be able to capitalise on that those those developments. But hopefully that'll come back through. Um, but yeah, you can just see there how marked the effect ha um, of having kids is on on your squatting. So if you want to kind of set some personal goals, uh, my advice is don't have have kids. Um, I'll do it first, then have your kids. But yeah, um, I won't I won't I won't have it any other way. Um, whether they're two healthy daughters and a big back squat. Um, It'd be ideal if I could have both, and I'm trying to have both, but certainly would rather have uh, my two daughters than, than that, if that was the choice given to me. So the other part about it is is the, the diet and lifestyle piece. Um, in fact, I'm going to stop saying that because um, I'm going to talk to you about diet because lifestyle is a really kind of change my perspective, really, because if my lifestyle involves spending time with, with, with all my family, then that's the kind of great lifestyle. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to come with a bad diet. And those are, those two things often get put together. You have a bad diet, you have a bad lifestyle, and, and they're kind of part and parcel of the same thing. So I think I need to to separate them and, and try to disassociate having um, a, a really good family lifestyle that doesn't necessarily come with a really bad diet. Um, and I haven't done that very well. Um, and that's definitely going to be something to do better. What can really kind of throw you off if is of disturbed sleep is it really kind of puts a span in the works in terms of your ability to kind of control your calorie intake and how you find those calories because I just want to eat crap all day every day just that that is just kind of what happens when I've, when I've got disrupted sleep um, those leptin and ghrelin hormones are just kind of all over the place um, and people bring you crap like the amount of chocolate we've had delivered um, by friends and, and family just kind of giving you gifts and so there's like there's just no you've got no energy you're tired your hormones are telling you to kind of eat sugary rubbish and then lo and behold there's a there's a cupboard full there's a fridge full of it because that's what people have brought you and the stuff you bought for yourself as well um so that's getting eaten so um probably body composition wise have taken a bit of a hit but the the pleasing thing about it is it's probably been in some way um counteracted by uh, just lots of extra activity not exercise but just having two kids you're a lot, a lot busier um and it's kind of maintained um the weight loss i started to show so it's not not gone up uh, it hasn't gone down definitely um i've probably seen a bit of a shift in, in terms of composition slight increase in body fat and a slight drop in, in, in muscle mass but not nothing horrific nothing terrible but hopefully um I can get back on top of that now and, and start working towards uh, restoring some of the strength I gained, um, restoring some of the muscle mass I'd put on, getting rid of some of the body fat I've accumulated um, over the last two weeks. Um, and I really kind of have a push on now for the last six months to hit my goal um, and, and have the, the, the really kind of pleasing family life plus um, personal goal setting that I've done and not having to um be okay that it's choosing one or the other and it's finding those those ways of, of being able to achieve those two things so yeah really good really 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 good week for me uh, irrespective of what happens in the gym and that propels into comparison to, to having your, your a newborn baby um yeah i just wish you could sleep for five hours rather than two